Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday, November 12th, 2020, and this is Alex Samuel, director of the Chesterfield Health District. Uh, all I can say is, wow, what a difference a couple of weeks has made. Um, if you're paying attention to the data, we're experiencing a surge in cases that really took off late last week. When we shot from a seven day average of around 40 cases a day to our current seven day average of uh, about 60, 65 cases a day, which is actually a high for us since the pandemic began. And uh, there, there has not been any single uh, large institution outbreak to account for this. So much of this increase in case numbers is due to uh, what we're finding as we do case investigations and contact tracing multiple small outbreaks in uh, workplaces um, and social gatherings. Uh, we've been seeing an increase in the number of outbreaks also in congregate care settings. And, and sadly, that typically follows increases in cases in the community. We've seen that time again, and that's uh, also um, uh, what, what typically seems to be a, a national uh, phenomenon as well. So percent positivity for the district has been hovering around 6%, um, which is a slow and steady increase above the goal, uh, which is below 5%. We, we were there uh, a couple of weeks ago. What we're seeing is pretty much uh, what's happening statewide as people are coming into closer proximity as the weather cools and daylight hours are decreasing. Uh, hence, people are moving more and more indoors. I think the other issue too is that we simply can't let our guard down and must continue to practice the uh, preventive practices that we know work, uh, like wearing a mask or face covering uh, when at work or in indoor public spaces, uh, maintaining six feet of social distancing, uh, certainly frequent hand washing, and then very importantly, remaining at home when you're sick. So these are the main measures that we have available to us to combat the spread of this virus and we have to be consistent in practicing them or we'll very likely see a strong steady increase in case numbers uh, if we don't follow these precautions. So it's important to remember that these measures are aimed at protecting specifically and primarily those who are at most serious risk of experiencing a serious outcome uh, like hospitalization or even death. Uh, and, and this includes Older adults, those with underlying health conditions like diabetes, cancer, heart conditions, among, unders, uh, among others. And so I do this every week. Please remember also if you have uh, concerns about being positive that the health department provides free COVID-19 testing. Uh, we're, prior to, we're prioritizing that testing for those who otherwise would have challenges accessing health care, but we're not turning anyone away. So to learn more, you can call our coronavirus hotline at 804-318-82007. Uh, visit our district website at uh, www.vdh.virginia.gov forward slash Chesterfield, or visit the VDH website at vdh.virginia.gov and navigate to the COVID-19 testing sites page. And you'll find a number of different testing opportunities available uh, in this area. So the increase in cases has direct relevance on the upcoming holidays. Uh, the more closely people interact with each other and the longer this interaction lasts, of course, the higher the risk of spreading the virus. Uh, the safest way uh, to celebrate the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday this year is to do so with only those people in your household. However, if you intend to attend a gathering outside of your home, be sure to use a well-fitting face covering or mask when indoors while not eating or drinking. Um, this certainly doesn't sound all that comfortable and is by far and away uh, far different from tradition, but this is a very... Uh, beyond that, staying six feet away from people who don't live with you and then washing your hands frequently. These are key behaviors that uh, we've talking, uh, spoken about time and time again. Um, other practices to consider that will reduce the risk of exposure include eating outdoors if the weather permits and ensuring proper ventilation by opening windows if you choose to eat indoors. So I'm going to close by pro pro providing some updated information about masks. 
the CDC very recently published findings that multi-layer cloth face masks are helpful by offering some protection against exposure to infectious droplets. Multiple layers of cloth with higher thread counts are better at filtration than single layer masks with fewer thread counts. Um, this is uh, uh, somewhat different than the uh, advice that we have been getting, uh, which is cloths actually, uh, sorry, cloth face masks actually do help filter and, and protect against exposure. Um, again, there is already evidence indicating that masks block the release of exhaled respiratory particles by the wearer, which is relevant because of the possibility that a person who does not show symptoms can spread the virus. Current estimates are that close to 50% of the people who actually have COVID infection show no symptoms. And this, again, is the primary reason we're all being asked to wear masks right now. You or even I could be infected and simply not know it and potentially spread it to someone else. Uh, so the fact that masks can help uh, protect is another good reason to wear them. That's all for now. Please do your best to stay safe and be healthy. Thank you.